Hey guys, before we get started, please make sure to click the subscribe button and click the bell. Today we're going to turn Officer Big Mac into an evil nightmare version. He's pretty terrifying already since he's a human hamburger, but I'm going to make him even scarier. So let's get started. First, I distressed the areas around his eyes and made them black. Then I gave him a mouth, and it's kind of disturbing that he didn't have one already, but here we are. I added mold to the cheese. And then I added different dark colors to make him look really dingy and dirty. I gave him scowling eyebrows. I made his eyes red. Then I outlined his lips. Next, I used different colors of paint to scuff up his uniform. I outlined his eyes in metallic silver. Then I gave him fire eyes with snake-like pupils. I painted his original eyebrows red to look like horns. I added sharp, scary teeth. I decided to cut up his suit a little bit. Then I distressed his belt and whistle with lots of different colors. And that's it. Now I have an evil Big Mac to add to my art doll collection. This is getting pretty spooky.
All right, on to our next project. Today we have a gumball machine full of slime gumballs. First we'll look at the gumballs and then I'll show you how I made them. These slimy, gushing slime gumballs are easy and fun to make. Let me show you how. I started off with these Ouzo slime kits and a toy gumball machine. The kits come with everything you need to make your slimy spheres. Wow, why is there so much packaging for such a little bag of slime stuff? And this is all the stuff it comes with. I started by making a slime base by adding our base packet to some warm water. I stirred it up, then mixed the base from the other two boxes because I'm going to make a lot of slime gumballs. I let them sit for an hour and mix them every 15 minutes to make sure they were really mixed up. Don't worry if there are a lot of clumps, just mix it as best you can. They'll disappear with time. Next I started dividing the base into small containers. Instead of using the paint that came with the set, I used my own paint and slime mix-ins. I wanted to make a large variety, and I ended up making 18 slimes in all. So I'm just going to be quiet for a little bit and let you watch.
To activate the slime so that it forms a gumball, I mix the activator packet in some water. The kits come with a spoon you can use to make the gumballs, but I use a teaspoon sized measuring spoon instead. This way I can make smaller gumballs that would fit into my machine. I scooped up some slime base and put it in the activator. And it worked! I repeated these steps until I had a huge number of gumballs to put into my gumball machine. And when they're popped open, ooey slime oozes out. But I think I should mention that although this kit is really cool, it's not really slime. It's just a gooey substance. The activator makes the outer shell hard, kind of like a rubber, not like a slime. And the stuff that oozes out isn't slime either. It's like a pre-slime. Except when I tried activating my leftover slime base, it just made a rubbery substance too. I even tried adding glue and some of my own activator from another slime kit, but it still didn't make real slime. But I will say that these Uzos are really fun to play with, but if you're expecting to make real slime out of them, that's probably not going to happen. Eventually, I turned over the gumball machine and dumped out all the gumballs and started squishing them one by one. Ah, 
Then I put it all in the activator. It kind of made a rubbery mess. Not slime. And I was really disappointed too because I used a lot of mix-ins in this project. But I have to admit, it was a lot of fun to play with. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe. See you next time. Have a great day.